Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Material Energy Hypercubed with myself, Lewis. I'll be really having yourself a great day. As always, we have just finished up inside the magical place of somethingness that has a buttload of ore in there. And we have a new quest that I think takes us to the deep dark. I, have, I think. I'm still using the OP quest book. To be totally honest, I think I've uh, settled into my place that I'm probably going to use this for the rest of the series now. Because redoing all my data and stuff is going to be a total pain in the butt and I would rather just uh, use this because you know we're getting near the end now so might as well we need to go to the deep dark I think that's the thing the deep dark wall sounds like it right and it says we're in the wrong dimension so we need to go to this place and we need to follow these coordinates we're gonna get a reward bag and I'm guessing that's gonna open up the quest with this quest here which looks like it takes us into the never which is very scary because there are many uh, I have a horrible feeling knowing parcel that the never is going to be full of like five million ghasts like it was before so let's make our way back to the deep dark and we'll see how this goes I'm not 100% sure how I actually even get back to my ship <laughs> I really don't know how I get back there I wonder if this is it now maybe we just don't go back to the ship maybe we're here to stay. I really don't know. When we went into the overworld for the first time, there was that place. This is different as well. Like, this isn't how the deep dark was the first time we came here either. Like, last time it took me to a Pacific, to a Pacific, Pacific, specific room that we need to go into. Am I in the, where am I? 153, 150. Yeah, we're in the ceiling, aren't we? I need to remember to light up. I always forget that thing with the deep dark that you need to remember to light up, otherwise all of the evil things come out of the darkness and eat your soul. That is always a bit of an issue when you come to the deep dark. But here we go. This looks totally different to the deep dark that we went to the first time. Like when we came here last time, there was all those weird ruins and that place that looked like it had been copy and pasted. I feel this is different, or we're just in a totally different area of the deep dark, and we need to make our way back over there, but let's have a looky-see in the quest book and see what we have to do. So, we are in the right direction, which is good. It's 533 meters away, which is this way, 529. I guess we're kind of going over this way. I'm going to take to the ground, I believe. Well, kind of to the ground, and we'll see if we can get 487. Yeah. I just need to keep lining up. I always think of the deep dark, and I think this is how it's uh, kind of coded in for the damage that you take in the deep dark. I believe it's like when you're in the dark, you get a, uh, it's like a breath bar, and when that runs out, you start taking damage. I think that's how the deep dark is implemented. So once you go into light level zero, you, uh, like a, a, a fake breath bar comes up that you can't see, and when it goes down, you start drowning. So I think that's how it works but let's keep an eye on this 349 so we'll keep going over this way I really hope I can get back to you know where we started out <laughs> otherwise it's going to be a little bit strange isn't it not going back there surely we can I think when we went to the overworld and there was those two portals one of those portals must take us back to that place and if we did to the end that takes you back to your spawn location at the end doesn't it where you first spawned so I'm guessing it will take us back to the beginning of the uh of, of hypercubed i guess that's my uh that's me guessa me guessa let's have a look 271 so i'm gonna keep going this way guys and i will see you back when we get there so it looks like this has taken us back to where we was i was right so yeah here's the place we came to the first time we came to the deep dark and if you can see over there that should be the entrance that we first came down through that takes us to the yep yeah, there it is <laughs> so that portal there should in theory take me back but we went through that last time and it took me to the overworld doesn't it didn't it so maybe i'm uh, totally wrong right there now i have a feeling we're gonna need to go down to the weird copy pasta place which was down here i think it was like below the ground wasn't it so if we go down this way, it should eventually, eventually, take us down there. Although I can't actually remember if this is the way we're meant to go. I don't think it is. <laughs> Last time we went there, it was just a straight ride, wasn't it? This feels like I'm going somewhere a little bit different. Let's go up here. Where's the way out? 
<laughs> I've gone and got myself lost now. Uh, is it this way? Oh, here we go. Okay, all right. So let's keep our eyes out for the cop. Whoa, that's a deep hole. Is this it? Is this the copy paste place? No. What is that? Is that the void? Yes. <laughs> we don't want to be going down there. All right, that's a that's a no go. Wow, this place has some really weird areas. I do like what Pass was done with it. It does feel kind of, you know, a little bit mysterious, doesn't it? But let's uh, let's try and focus on finding the copy paste place, which I think was around here somewhere. Because I came over to here and saw this, and I was like, oh, no, 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 big old hole. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the ultimate way of retracing your footsteps. There we go. So I think this is going to be something like it. Yeah, 99 meters away. So if I go down here, we are closer. Let's keep going down. 56. And oh, oh, I'm in the darkness a little bit too much right there. 62. 51. It might be above us. Oh, there it is. Look. Ah, so we've actually got something built here. Uh, you guys probably can't see because it's really dark. Let me try and light up a little bit. Yeah, look, loads of octuple compressed inside this place. And there's a wall cabinet here. Oh, well, I wonder what this is for because... Deep, dark wall. Well, there's that. And it's already open. Like, it looks like it's already been gone into. But I've never been here before. And I don't need black wall. So I'm not 100% sure what that's all about. <laughs> you know what I think it is? I think we've got outdated quest stuff. So maybe I will need to do this because I have a feeling that is what we needed to find for that. For it to allow us to go into the next area. And because my quest book's a little bit kind of broken at the minute, it's not actually doing it. So we'll complete that one. And uh, I'm going to take a wild guess. And some of you will have to tell me if this is wrong or not because I'll correct it. But I think we have uh, a bit of a weird book data going on here. And that should have been a uh, completion task. Oh, no, there it is. Look. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we did get it. So we had to go to there, which opens up this one. Then we have to find the wall. So it just didn't... It's not reading these visited ones. If it, if it, if it accepted it properly, it would have brought that one up. So, no, we haven't got... Well, we still have got a dodgy book. But I guess it's kind of working. <laughs> so this takes us to Never Portal. So across the ocean I can see a large Never Portal. A task where the player has to reach one or more locations. Oh, so we need to go back to the overworld, I guess. Well, that's fine. We know the way out of it now, don't we? So if we go up <laughs> over here and make our way back to our first portal, that should take us home. Well, no, it'll take us back to the overworld, won't it? And then from there, we can do that. So if I click you, should take us back to here. Yeah. And that's an end portal there, so I don't really want to go to the end just yet. But I think this is the one for the portal, yeah. And where is that? It's 403, so it's over. It's over this way somewhere now, a lot of guys a lot of you people have been saying that it feels like it's been a little bit rushed at the end you know you're probably right okay the pack came out pretty fast and a lot of the content was kind of what in god's name is that <laughs> a lot of the content was kind of added fairly fast so you know maybe it was a little bit rushed but why is there a big obsidian thing here what does it mean? <laughs> what does it do? You, I think you can kind of tell by the lack of quests. You know, as further you get on, or, you know, more you go through the main quest line, it starts becoming more a room with many spawners. And then, like, uh, go find this focal point inside this dimension and you complete. And you can go to the next place. It kind of, you know, you kind of start losing the questage. Is this actually taking me to it? It actually is taking me to a portal. So I guess we'll kind of follow this. And maybe this is our yellow brick road, but not so yellow. <laughs> it's going to lead us to a, to a never portal. I'm uh, pretty excited to go to the end, or the, or the never, because I haven't been there yet. And 
like I say, if I know parcel, it's going to be pretty scary there. It generally is when it comes to parcel. So where is this portal? Where is the portal? It's, whoa, we just randomly jumped from, oh, there it is. Ah, I like it how it's just randomly inside the wall. <laughs> that is cool. So if we got potions of fire resistance we have, brilliant. So we know that it's going to be a death trap in here. So potions of fire resistance are very much welcome. All right, so this is my first time going to the never in Hypercubed. Uh, oh, I can't get out the portal. There we go. So I don't really know what to expect, but I like how the wall of... The wall of somethingness is still here. And it doesn't look like there's a million ghasts. Which is kind of nice. Oh man, let me do the things. <laughs> I've, I've done it. And I've done this one. Oh, can I not claim it because I don't? Oh, that gives me the stuff to get back, doesn't it? Why can I not claim you? Have I not got enough inventory space? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I have. Let me claim it. Let me claim it. Please, let me claim it. <laughs> I want the things. Do I, can I, like, redo it? No. It just outright does not want to give it to me. Once I just throw some of the stuff on the floor. There we go. No. <laughs> Well, all right, then. We're not allowed to have that one, it looks like. That's fair. Um, I can just break some of this obsidian if I need it, I guess. Okay. And then there's Hef Wall. Hefinator approves ready the fusion reactor. Evil railway. Okay. This sounds cool. 108 meters away. So let's go. That's 109. Uh, it's going to be 112. 100. Yeah, it's this way. Cool beans. All right, well, we'll see what we have over here. The evil... That's a wither. <laughs> that's a wither right there. Where are you chilling? Somewhere around here is a wither. And I'm guessing it has to do with the evil railway. Wherever that may be. It's over this way. Well, the wither thing's disappeared. And that's gone back up. It must be over here somewhere. Is it above me? Like, am I just... Is that it? Like, is that it there? And I'm just... Going mental. If I go down, does it... Yeah. If I go down... Oh, no. We're, like, right next to it. 15, 11, oh, hello there, you. <laughs> How are you? Oh, my God, we almost one-shot the wither. All right, one wither down. Oh, my God, there's millions of them. They're multiplying. Look at that damage. <laughs> Oh my god, there's millions of- Oh, there's a wither spawner. That would explain it. Oh my god, there's loads of them. <laughs> oh jeez. Did that actually do it? It did. Which gives me a load of reward bags. Okay. So now what? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Where does it lead from here? The half wall is done. I'm going to have to auto-complete that again. Detection task. Half wall. Task with pennies. Oh, so we need to go get the half wall. All right, so I haven't completed that yet. <laughs> we need to get half wall. And uh, we need to find it somehow. So somewhere around here is going to be one of those black rooms that has the wool in it. We just need to find that and I'm guessing it's over here somewhere so like
is this whole area beneath me just tons of withers? <laughs> I actually think it is. I lit like. Yeah, it's just buttloads of wither spawners. <laughs> well, if, I guess if you want to get your uh, get your never stars, you're in luck, my friend. All right, is it round here? Ah ha ha ha! There it is. Half wool, very nice. Cool beans, and I have no reason to fight all those withers. Because there is like a bajillion of them. I wonder if we actually like they actually like we can almost two shot a wither at the minute, which is pretty cool. So all right, now we've done that one. We got our reward bag. Oh, stuff's exploding. <laughs> Let's go over here for a second. Uh, hi there, you. Did that go anywhere near him? Ah, that one did. <laughs> okay. So we've got legendary reward bags, one quest with unclaimed rewards. That should actually be more than that, because I had loads in the secrets tab. Uh, no, yeah. Bake to win. Yeah, there they are. So one of these, lost in time. Well, I can't claim that one, because it, it's balked. Um, I think that... Retlo... <laughs> Yeah, you kept me safe from the warm. I don't really know where we're meant to go from here. Because we've pretty much done most of this. 20 cookies. Hmm. So, I, ca I can't believe I can't complete that quest. That is a total pain in the butt. I wonder if there is never always in. Lendrite. What's this? Cobalt. Because I need to get iron so that I can make... Oh, no, no, no. I don't I don't need iron. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't need iron. We can go back to where that portal was. I can go back through it. <laughs> this is such a long-winded way of doing it just for the fact that the book won't give me the stuff that I need. Unless I have got one in here. I don't think I have one in here, though. I don't, generally don't carry them on me. New. No. Doesn't look like it. Flint and steel is what I'm talking about. I don't think we have any never iron that spawns. So, we're going to have to make our way back to the overworld. That's fine. We can do that. And I should be able to mine myself some iron, get myself an igniter, and then we will be able to make our way back from there. I think the wall is over this way. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right. So, you know, that was fun. We made our way to here and to there. We still need to go to the end. I think we're going to save that for the next episode. There is a portal at the beginning that has an end portally block in it. So, we're going to have to go there at some point. But I'm going to notch myself out a portal and I'm guessing that will allow me to go back to the main world I really don't know like hmm or maybe maybe we should just go to the end just jump through that little portal that's at that spawn location and see what happens I guess could be a thing <laughs> cool cool all right guys well that's gonna be after today's episode a little bit of a shorter one but I don't really know what to show you at the minute because we're kind of on a bit of a wild goose chase. So it's a little bit here, there and everywhere because I'm not too sure what I'm meant to be doing. Yes, but hey, that's fine. We're just going to go with the flow. Next episode, we'll go to the end because it looks like we have an end portal that we can go to. And we'll see where that takes us from there. But I do feel like we're getting near the end of this series now. So I would like to start getting some recommendations on what to do after this. So if there's anything particular that you'd like to see on the channel, remember, it doesn't have to be Minecraft if you don't want it to be. Then make sure to put that in the comment section. I'll check that out. What I generally do is I take everyone's joint input and I just tally it up. <laughs> And the one at the top is the one that wins. It was the set that was what happened with Terraria. So you know what? Just throw in what you'd like to see. It can be mod packs, Minecraft, anything like that, and I will tally it all up. Whichever one's at the top, it's generally the one that wins. I, it's not a competition, obviously, but I like to try and please the masses the most. So yeah. 
All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one, as always, and bye-bye.